They had a sad death in our Washington Zambi, so many of them won't be here. Somebody else came in. Who is it? Please announce. Huh? Nobody, I guess. Yeah, who is this one? Please announce your name. Ah, Mattar Sahib, Dr. Sahib Tamboli. Nice to hear you. Thank you. Uh, that is my cardiologist, guys, so be careful. Because of him, I'm still going on strong. Oh, no, that's all that I know, <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Hello. Uh, who is the new one who just came in? Hello, Mutta Mobit Sahib, Kem Chow. Nice to hear you. You too, how are you? Fine, fine. Who is the other one just came in? Javas and Nancy Darwala. Good morning and greetings to all. Oh, Mutta Sahib from Dahod. Uh, nice to hear you both coming and listening. Thank you, thank you. We look forward to uh, Dumbar presentation. I think that uh, the, the knowledge of Dumbar is not that good around in all whole community, so this should be an enlightening experience. Thank you, thank you so much. And uh, we will see, I have a little controversial suggestion and appeal to Faisana, NAMC and so on. We will see what happens. Uh, and we will talk about that at the end of the, at the, end of the uh, presentation. Okay, sir. Uh, Dolly, this is Dolly here. Hi, Dolly, Kemcho. You you got my message about not being there at Faisana? Yes, I mean. Yeah, that's because my wife has given me marching orders. Wonderful. <laughs> you have to be with your grandchild. Of course, of course, yeah. But uh, uh, Joanne and I both will be missing the Faisana. But uh, that's the way it goes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, I think we will wait just two, three more minutes so people can catch up and then we will start. Uh, okay. uh, uh, Anaita Sidwa. Hello? Hello? Uh, no, I'm asking Anaita Sidwa because I want to let you guys know that in July I am going to Dallas for a wedding and they requested me to make a presentation of a teleclass there. So maybe we will broadcast from Dallas in July. Uh, who, who, is, uh, who came just now? Please announce your name. Porus. Uh, Porus. My friend Porus Darabe? Yes. <laughs> oh, welcome Porus, welcome. Nice to hear you. Uh, who else just came in? Oh, Vice President Saheb Ketayun won't be there, so you are the chief person from Faisana. Welcome, homie. Thank you. Thank you for in this seminar, I mean, talks, because it's very, very important that we all know about our faith. Very good. Thank you. Uh, who just came in? Could you, would you please announce your name? Arda Viraf Minocharamji from San Diego? Yes. My, my. Welcome, Arda. How are you doing? Thank you. Great. Nice to hear you. Oh, uh, Somebody else came in. Who is that? I am Ashmeta from Chicago. Ah, the, the, the big uh, teacher from Chicago. Kayumars, you're always a loyal friend with other people. I really appreciate Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, and uh, can I guess I will give you one more minute for somebody to join, and then we will start if it is okay. Hey, Olivia, this is Jambak. Haji sir. Uh, Sanyas are having difficulty connecting to this number. Are the other people from Canada in already? Yeah, there is a problem with Canadian people, and I have already talked to Besanya on it that. You have to first uh, ask your service provider 
because Firdos Mehta had the same problem and he solved it by calling them and they then did something to his uh, service. So I, I don't know what to do at this last moment, minute. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We will continue. Okay. So we have given everybody a chance and uh, I am sure there may be some people, you know, joining in. So, I'm going to start with the slide number one. Please uh, remind me if I'm not uh, announcing the slide number. Now, slide number is in the big red numbers on the lower right hand side usually or somewhere above there and so on. When it is uh, uh, the alpha characters are there, I have put it somewhere so you can see it. So, follow me with the slide please and then uh, we will just, uh, if you have a problem, just uh, let me know that I am not announcing the slides. I get all carried away with what I have to say sometimes. So welcome everybody. Our 16th All North American Zoroastrian Religion Teleclass. Our custom says what is our Roj and Ma in the three calendars. So by the Shen Shai, it is the Ava Maino and Gawa Droj. And by the Kadmi, it is Adar Mainone Gawa Droj. And the firstly, it is of course the Farvadin Maino. We just started the new calendar and Sarosh Roj. This is April 6, 2014, 11 a.m. New York time. And I'm so happy, Joanne and I, that you all are there. I am on slide number two. And uh, we welcome everybody. Oh my God, we are from San Diego all the way to. Uh, East Coast and from Montreal all the way to Dallas. So welcome all everybody. Hope you enjoy uh, this uh, class. You may know Joanne and I had some bumps in our lives last year, but here we are again. Thanks to your good wishes and somebody is always looking after all of us and we are really humbled by your response, patience and attendance and hope these uh, classes will go on for some time in the future and thank you for your participation. I am going on slide number three with her agenda. The items are what is the meaning of our uh, uh, Gambar in our scriptures? What is the two sides of Gambar? Agricultural and cosmogonical. Boy, that's a mouthful for me. I looked up and it says it is about the start of the universe. The celebration of Gambari in a Zarthus is a Zarthusti requirement. Celebration of Gambari is a Zarthustri requirement. Gambars in old and modern Iran, Gambars in old and modern India. I am doing this to let you know what we used to do and how we forgot we have forgotten some of our old customs. And this is the main reason of comparing old and new practices. Gambars in diaspora, I am sure many of you have the, your own Gambars. I am only very well familiar with the one in uh, Orlando, thanks to my friend Dinyar Mehta and his people. And then in ZAF, and we have a ZAF president, Farok and Kushnam, thanks to them. So I will mention some of this. And then I have a suggestion for North America diaspora about Gambar when and how to celebrate them maybe. Then we will do our own cy uh, cy uh, Cyber Humbandagi in English and then Cyber Hamas or an acknowledgement. Okay, so let's start with it. I'm going to have a number of slides with the source materials that I have used from different books. So this is the first one. This is one of the oldest book I have printed in 1882 in Bombay about the travels of one, I'm on next slide number five, travels of Kavazji Dinshaji Kiyash and he and his friends went to Iran, believe it or not, from April 2nd, 1878 through May 22, 1882, two years in 132 years ago. Amazing how they must have gone around in what way, you see. Now I have to uh, have a little plug here. This value, invaluable book is gifted to me 
by a very nice Parsi couple together with the whole 10 volumes of Gujarati Shanama by the famous Kuta brothers and I'm telling you these are my prized possession and I'm truly eternally in debt of this uh, couple who wants to be anonymous. So the next one is a wonderful book in three volumes called The Parsis. Actually it was written in French by one woman lady called Mademoiselle Delphine Menant and the name of the book was Le Parsi. It was around 19, oh, no, 18, 1910 or something of that kind, maybe earlier. And then there was a demand for it, so people translated it in English. And here comes Mr. M. M. Marizban, a very amazing scholar of our community and our religion. And he just annotated this English version with copious notes about all kinds of things that was going on and it's a wonderful wonderful three volume book and I have used some part of it for the gamba from this book. Okay I'm on slide seven just said the same thing now of course slide number eight is our own unbelievable scholar Sir Dr. Erwin Jivanji Jamshed Jimori, whose Bible, Religious Ceremonies and Customs of Parsis are there and I'm on slide 9. Thanks to my very good friend Joseph Peterson. He has a complete book into his www.avesta.org and you see the website on the upper right hand corner on slide 9. Very amazing book for everything you want to know. The number 10 slide is another Sir J.J. Modi's uh, a kind of book in form of 101 letters. He went all over uh, Europe, North Africa and uh, even in the new uh, Soviet Russia in 1925 and then came down eventually to Iran in 1926, I'm 25, and he, he's just amazing. Everywhere he went, he compared the customs of Iran with customs of India and wrote quite a bit detailed information. It is in Gujarati as you see on upper right hand corner. I'm on slide number 11 now, with his photograph from Kolaba Aguirre, and this person is a very interesting way presenting the differences between Iranis in 1925 and uh, what was going on in Bombay, Nausari, etc. I am on slide number 12 where there is a little plug here for our Fezana Nowruz book of prayers in English, Farsi and Gujarati. I have borrowed one of the prayer from this. We will talk about that later. Slide number 13 is always my favorite with those uh, beautiful photographs of those children in North American Zoroastrian Congress in Toronto as well as the Naujot of uh, Jimmy Mistry's daughter with 100 plus mobeds in Kolaba Gyari and so on. Okay, now we are on slide number 14. There may be some people or mobeds or people, religious scholars who are interested in what kind of ceremonies we should be doing for Gambar. So I have given you the, the uh, three books here. The left one is by Unwala on what we call Pao Mahel. Pao Mahel means the inner liturgies. Unwala is for Udwada. The middle one by Pauri is for Nausari Mobets. And then we also have Behram Kamdin's book which is for Tadmi Mobeds. This is a reference for people who wants to learn a little more about our Palmel Kriya, including Gamba. And of course the hero daughters. This gentleman has written um, all kinds of things in nine books available in internet as you see on slide number 15 above. And he has mentioned quite a bit of things about what, how they, in those days, which is the Hakamanian time, about uh, 470 BC or something like that, 
and what kind of uh, ceremonies, what kind of customs and so on the Iranians were uh, doing and he described it quite well in that way. So these are all the source materials, just a very quick review for you. If you want some more detail, please give me an email and I can answer you. So now we go to the meaning of the Gambar from our scriptures and slide number 17. You know there is actually no exact corresponding word for Gambar in all of our extant Avesta, believe it or not. If you coined a corresponding word, you could say it is Gatu Hambar in uh, Avesta. But the Avesta word that is very close in meaning to Gambar in Pelvi and Persian and so on is called Yairir. Yairir. And it is in Yasna 1.9. It comes, believe it or not, from the root Yare. Believe it or not, that is very similar to English here. So Yarya actually means seasonal divisions of the year. The word Gambar itself is a Pelvi Gasanbar. Gasanbar. And people, you know, uh, pronounce Gambar different ways. Please forgive me, I'm just going to use Gambar as all through the, all through the teleclass. The word Yarya comes from the root Yai.